Murli, where did spin bowling begin for you? Actually, when I was uh, bowling in backyard, just try to bowl. Uh, when I was young, it's bowling medium pace because age of seven, eight, I started just bowling. Then uh, depends on because my coach said to me, uh, it's not, I'm not right for bowl for medium pace. Then I changed after about 12, when I was 12, to bowling a little bit of uh, off cutters. Show us your grip first. It's normal off spin grip. Uh, it's like the normal off spin grip. Uh, nothing changes uh, anybody else. So when so I the bowl, the fingers quite wide on the ball. Yeah, wide on the ball. Um, what do you do with your thumb? Leave it loose. No, thumb has to be very loose. Yeah. Because it doesn't touch the ball because yep. it's easy to spin. So normally spin with uh, this l spin with the earth, this index. It's quite spin. a callus you've worked there, yeah. from ripping the ball. ripping the ball. Okay. And the other things that are different about you are your shoulder rotation mm -hmm. and this unusual use of the wrist yeah Can you just before uh, we actually have actually, a practical actually when I'm, my delivery will be like this when, you, when I'm delivering the wrist, wrist position will be like this without knowing it should be this way it was delivering now normal loss spin I will deliver like this my wrist position is this that's why it goes scramble seam okay ball delivers from here so it's almost coming out of the back of the hand back almost of the like hand. a wrist spin a wood release yeah ball. and what about the shoulder rotation you've got quite an so, unusual shoulder yeah, actually, rotation for the off spin it's a normal shoulder rotation but when it comes to do slap uh, what i do is i take the little bit rotate from here take the rotation from so you're this rotating way. the shoulder this way rather than that way that way which allows you to get that get that arm this way and wrist wrist to push into this other side Okay, well, let's look at a ball just yeah. to uh, have a practical example. Okay. Unusual off spinner, an everyday off spinner. Yeah. Okay, so that was an orthodox off spinner. Spin, yeah. What happened with it? Just give us the bowling action here at the crease. Just yeah. explain that motion and delivery. Yeah, always uh, when I a uh, ball, my action has to be uh, perfect because uh, always in land in the front foot and get a good follow through and when you before you bowling and always i just get the arm a little bit higher yeah so when it's come higher then you go higher up right and then the ball gets dip a lot okay just coming here when i come to here i just lift it like this yeah so then only delivers so you're looking to bow up up always up from higher to lower a little that bit actually yeah okay in the actual release of the ball, just give us that slow-mo again if you can. The actual yeah. release of the ball, just show us how the ball's coming out of the hand there. We'll try to slow it down. Okay, so that's the orthodox off-break. Off-break, yeah. Okay, yeah. now let's see a Dusra. <laughs> that's a great ball, that. Now, the first thing I heard here was a lot more effort. I heard a yeah. little grunt, and I felt more energy through the crease. Yeah, because uh, when it comes to you, you have to put a lot of effort to bowl that Dusra ball, because you rotate this arm vertically, like turn the arm from ear to ear. It's a big effort. From last moment, you'll turn the arm. What's the difference in the rotation of the arm from the off spinner uh, and the Dusra? The off spinner will finish always goes here yes and Dusra Orthodox. will finish a little bit this area okay so this is that rotation that we spoke about this yeah. unusual shoulder rotation yeah. that is part of your build yeah. your physique and the wrist also in the Dusra wrist also a little bit has to flick it a little bit other side when you say you focus on your follow-through yeah from the point of the del delivery stride when you want to be up yeah. to bowl up yeah. what's important in the follow-through Important is the uh, you have to land in the uh, the the feet shouldn't be so wider, so you, feet has to be uh, closer together. So not too than, big a delivery no, stride. Yeah, okay. big, no, not too big a delivery stride. So uh, this hips. this hip is driving this way, yeah. and the front leg is braced if it can be, and, and you want to get up on. And driving. Okay, so there's almost a pivot on that yeah. front leg. Okay, just, and then you drive through. Okay, I'll show see. you. Problem. Okay, yeah.
Okay, there's a lot in that. You can see a lot of energy through the crease, and, and this is just in a practice situation. You've got quite a long approach to the crease. We've noticed with Shane Warne over the years a very short, measured approach where he begins by walking and then gathers himself, whereas you like to get a skip going to the wicket. Is yeah, that a momentum? Yeah, uh, nice and slow and a little bit long run-up. It will give force to the ball to go a little bit quicker, if you want to bowl quicker, because I vary the pace a lot, yeah. because 75 to 90. So always uh, can try to get the batsman fixing on uh, the pace of the ball is more important because sometimes batsmen come down, sometimes doesn't come down. So you just guess and mix the pace according to that. Sometimes you can trap the batsman. One of the things that came out of your press conference you did with Shane Warne the other day, he was asked to highlight what he thought was one of your greatest gifts and he picked how the ball got there. In other words, he said lots of blokes could land an off break in the right area and make it spin a bit. What Murali does is change how the ball gets there nearly every time with flight and with pace Variation. and with energy on the ball. Variation of speed. So you, you keep on mixing the ball, like players like uh, Michael Clark or Ricky Ponting. So they use the feet a lot. Okay. So for them, if you are bowling one pace, they will get used to you. Yeah. So keep on mixing it, harder for them. Okay. What would be, if you were citing your strengths as a bowler and your special abilities that make you unique, that have given you more than 700 test match wickets, what would they be? I think spin the ball. Big spinner, uh, always been a, a key thing to me. When I started bowling, I, I didn't know how to bowl a dose row. I know I don't know how to bowl a straight ball. Always and you worked on it for what three years before you bowled it in a match, the dose row. Yeah, two years, two years, two almost years. two years, and it's only started 1997, like that period, because after that bowling, I've taken long, more, lot more wickets than first four five years. Uh, so it's helped around the world to bowl that. Will you give us all three? To finish up, give us an off spinner, a dusra, and a top spinner. Okay. Give us all three, and we'll try to sense from here if there's any discernible difference. So I bowl the off spin first. Off spin first. <laughs> right, there's an off break. I felt a lot of energy here at the crease. Uh, just a little grunt. Just yeah. a little oof. So there's yeah. there's physical effort. Yeah. Then I bowl now dusra. Dusra. Okay. Fantastic amount of spin. We're on a pretty soggy bit of uh, the outer here, just off the square. Yeah. So there's not much in the surface, is there? Very no, slow. not much in the surface. Okay. Because... Now the top spinner. Top spinner. <laughs> that was higher. Yeah. That was higher. And lastly, there's one other thing, having seen those deliveries, I'm, I'm keen to ask you. You have been, as a rule in your career, reluctant to bowl around the wicket. Yeah. You use the crease a little bit here, yeah. a little wider, a little yeah. closer. Why have you been reluctant to bowl around the wicket? Now, the ball, last two, two years, I've been bowling a lot from the round the wicket. Because, um, for right hand especially, because there is a rule, if you hit the um, outside the line, it's not out. So when it comes to around the wicket, right-hander, it's almost pitching off stump and turning to middle or leg. So you have more chance of getting a LBW from the round the wicket for right-hander. And plus, the dosra is more effective because if the person who doesn't know which way the ball is going, so you have to play every ball. Do you feel complete as a bowler or do you think you can still add things to your armory? I think uh, no one will be complete as a bowler because we all try hard. Thank you very much for giving us your time. It remains a great joy to Thanks. watch you bowl.